Welcome to Control System Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to concentrate on some of the MCQs on frequency response. Okay, coming to first bit, the slope of each pole in the transfer function in Bode plot is dash decibels for decade. Options are 20, minus 20, 0, and 40. Here, Bode plot is one of the technique in the frequency domain. By using this technique, we can determine the stability of a system. Okay, in this technique, if the transfer function having the pole, then the slope of each pole is minus 20 decibels per decade. Similarly, if the transfer function having the zero, then the slope of this zero is plus 20 decibels per decade. In our case, if the transfer function having the pole means the slope of pole is minus 20 decibels per decade. So option B is the right answer. Coming to next bit, if the gain margin and phase margin are zero, then the system is called, options are stable system, unstable system, marginally stable system, and all of the above. Here, gain margin and phase margin are the specifications in the Bode plot technique. Okay, in the Bode plot technique, if gain margin and phase margin both are zero, then the given system is marginally stable. This marginally stable system also known as a critically stable system. Similarly, if gain margin and phase margin are positive, then the system is the stable system. Okay. If gain margin and phase margin are the negative, then the system is called unstable system. And finally, if the gain margin or phase margin, any one is negative, then also the system is called the unstable system. Okay. This bit is very important in gate point of view. So, in this case, gain margin and phase margin both are zero. So, the type of the system is marginally stable system. That is option C is the right answer. Okay, coming to next bit, the corner frequency for the given transfer function, that is 20 by 1 plus 4s into 1 plus 3s or dash radian for seconds. Options are 0 0.25 comma 0 0.33, 0 0.33 comma 0, 4 comma 3 20 comma 3 comma 4 here corner frequency for finding corner frequency we require the time constant form time constant form is nothing but the factor in the form of 1 plus s tau is called the time constant form by using this time constant form we are going to determine the corner frequency that is corner frequency is equal to 1 by time constant in this these two factors that is 1 plus 4s and 1 plus 3s are in time constant form directly we can find out the corner frequency that is first corner frequency is 1 by 4 and second corner frequency is 1 by 3 by simplifying this one we are going to get 0 0.25 and 0 0.33 radian per second so option a is the right answer Coming to next bit, the frequency at which the phase angle of the system is minus 180 degrees is called dash. Options are phase margin, phase crossover frequency, gain crossover frequency, and gain margin. Here, the frequency at which the phase angle of the system or phase angle of the transfer function is minus 180 degrees. That frequency is called the phase crossover frequency. Similarly, the frequency at which the gain of the system or the gain of the transfer function is 0 decibels is called the gain crossover frequency. Okay, these two specifications are related to frequency domain specifications that is in the Bode plot. Here, the frequency at which the phase angle of the system is minus 180 degrees that is phase crossover frequency. So, option B is the right answer. Okay, next bit is the relationship of magnitude and phase angle of a system between sinusoidal input and steady state output is called dash. Options are Bode plot, time response, frequency response, and root locus. Here, if the output of the system changes with respect to time, that response is called the time response. Okay, that is the output of the control system changes with respect to time is called the time response. Similarly, the relationship of magnitude and phase angle of a system 
between sinusoidal input and steady state output is called a frequency response okay output changes with respect to time that is the time response here the re relationship between sinusoidal input and steady state output is called the frequency response so option c is the right answer okay coming to next one the log magnitude graph slope at cutoff frequency is called options are bandwidth cutoff frequency cutoff rate and resonant frequency the slope of log magnitude graph the slope of log magnitude graph at cutoff frequency is called the cutoff rate that is the log magnitude graph slope at cutoff frequency is called the cutoff rate so option c is the right answer okay coming to next one the dashed value of the magnitude of a closed loop is called the resonant peak options are minimum value zero value maximum value 100 percentage value okay the maximum value of the magnitude of a closed loop transfer function is called the resonant peak and the frequency and the frequency at which the resonant peak occurs is called the resonant frequency means the maximum value of the magnitude of a closed loop transfer function is called the resonant peak so option c is the right answer coming to next one by using Bode plot we can find out the absolute and relative stability options are false true okay here Bode plot is the one of the technique in the frequency domain for finding the stability of the system okay by using this Bode plot technique we can determine the absolute stability as well as relative stability of a system so by using Bode plot we can find out both absolute as well as relative stability of a system so option b is the right that is true coming to next one the phase angle of each zero in the transfer function in Bode plot is dash degrees options are 90 minus 90 0 180 while drawing the Bode plot we require the magnitude plot as well as phase plot okay for drawing the phase plot we require the expression for phase angle okay for getting the expression for phase angle we have to know what is the phase angle represents the each zero in the transfer function as well as each pole in the transfer function okay if pole is present in the given transfer function this pole okay not this pole each pole in the transfer function represents the phase angle of minus 90 degrees similarly if the transfer function consisting of zero then each zero represents the plus 90 degrees so in this case the phase angle of each zero that is plus 90 degrees so option a is the right answer coming to next one if the first corner frequency of the given transfer function is 10 radian per second then the arbitrary lower frequency should be options are 11 1 100 20 okay while drawing the Bode plot we have to consider the arbitrary lower frequency as well as arbitrary higher frequency okay by considering these things we are having conditions that is the lower corner frequency means the lower corner frequency should be less than the first corner frequency similarly the higher arbitrary frequency should be greater than the last corner frequency okay these are the conditions for considering the lower that is arbitrary lower frequency arbitrary higher frequency in our case the first corner frequency is 10 radian per second so we have to identify the arbitrary lower frequency means the frequency this value this frequency value should be less than this 10 radian per second in the given option option b is less than the 10 radian per second so answer is option b coming to next one the transfer function obtained by replacing s with j omega is called dash transfer function options are system transfer function proper transfer function sinusoidal transfer function and improper transfer function okay this point also related to Bode plot in the Bode plot the transfer function obtained by replacing the s with j omega is called sinusoidal transfer function that is 
the transfer function obtained by replacing s with j omega is called the sinusoidal transfer function so option c is the right answer